Well, it's an absolutely stunning day today uh, on top of the bell tower. We're back here after Easter. And in fact, the camera can't quite pick it up, but you can see as far as Sydney behind me. We're back here today thinking about the repercussions of Easter. And a friend of mine sent me an email with five principles, all that start with P, that it seems to me sum up some of the big picture issues regarding what Easter is all about. And so over the next five days in a view from on high, I want us to think about these five principles. And the first one today is that God has a plan. Let me read to you from Ephesians chapter one. God has made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times will have reached their fulfillment, to bring all things in heaven and on earth together under one head, Jesus Christ. God does have a plan. The world we see around us is a beautiful world, but it's a broken world. It's full of disease and death and suffering and broken relationships. Broken relationships between countries, broken relationships between families and individuals. God has a plan to heal those breaks. The focal point of it was Jesus coming and dying on the cross that we celebrated on Good Friday. And Easter Sunday, we celebrate the fact that we saw that what Jesus did on Good Friday worked. Jesus is the resurrection and the life, and he will take those who put their trust in him to be with him. So God's plan is to unite all of us under Jesus so that we might dwell with him and be with him forever. Can I encourage you, as we reflect on Easter, to understand that you can be part of God's plan as well, that this broken world is not gonna be broken forever, that as we put our trust in Christ, the healing begins, and ultimately we will see that healing when we dwell with God in heaven forever, when there'll be no more crying or pain or death or disease. God bless you today.